So this is the parking lot for the Whittier Street end of the thing. Something along those lines. And it does a little jog and heads up here to Whittier Falls Road. Whereupon we hang a left. And this should give us the answer to how they ran the thing under the spawn. Now, note the presence of actual signage here. More absent than the stretch I just walked. Let's see, it doesn't really make it clear whether you walk down the dirt road or if you just stay on this side of the fence. Who knows? There's the access parking lot. We'll forge ahead. And to the encouragements of earnest cardinals, I commence my run. Yes, private property thing. Details don't go over there, which is fine by me. Now the Dover Community Trail tends to dispense with such conventions as continuous blaze. But I bet with luck there's something to let us know what we're supposed to do. Okay, and there you can see the car darting along 16 to the trilling of many birds in the background. Interesting bottomlands down here. This also seems to have the feel of something that was used railroad or something back in the day. Who knows? It took a lot of effort to make it. Fill this straight and even and yet this high. It doesn't seem like it would be something they'd ever do for a mere Farmer's Cart Road. Okay, we got a turn here. Ooh, I bet this is where it makes a jog and goes underneath the spall. This is what you do. You can kind of see the path. Shadow down here, 
time you will be blithely conducted to the magic portal. I was right, or merely an idiot. Ah, oh, yeah. There's at least some kind of vernacular trail thing. And it does kind of make you wonder if maybe you're supposed to go on that side of the fence. These pines close to the trail are a favorite place for dog ticks to hang out and drop on you. Yeah, and there's a respectable amount of trap and debris from the highway sort of making its way down to this little stream. And as I suspected, there is some way Under the highway. Ah, yeah, there it is. We could follow this. That actually looks like a relatively acceptable option. <laughs> we'll see what the official one is. There is such a thing. I'm gonna look at another little trail down in there. A bit of blazing would solve a lot. Yeah, that little faint, if steep thing seems to do the job. And then we go up here and boom now there's an alternate path option ooh mad graffiti and some kind of funny little thing over there comes from somewhere around here, alternately over here. Then you run into evidence of real expenditures. And I've already encountered my first tick. By the way, this is probably some of the more striking graffiti I've run into around here. Ho, ho, homies, Merry Christmas. This one is a bit more austere, but it has its own compelling elements. Oh, something just submersed or immersed. 
Then there's this trout running. Another fine bend in the river. I think I'll probably just go a little further today and save this mile and a half section for later. This was funded and supported by Liberty Mutual and some educational entity calling itself Measured Progress. And it appears to mostly just be old access fire road, but whatever, looks like it's good for bicycles. And what pray tell is this? Ah, Dover Community Trail Boundary. Gotcha. And so yeah, I've solved the mystery. Not that it took any significant genius. But this is how the trail goes under Route 16 and that's more or less what it looks like.